I was watching videos on YouTube about brush hogging and ran across some information that running the tractor at slower speeds and also the blades or the PTO at slower speeds provides a better cut. Only half of which actually makes sense to me, so I'm going to do an experiment. According to the information that I ran across, the claim was that a lower vehicle speed or a ground speed combined with a lower PTO speed or lower blade speed provided a better cut. I would agree with the lower vehicle speed and I think that's uh, evident even with like a push mower or a riding mower and probably a rotary cutter as well. The reasoning behind the lower blade speeds or lower PTO speeds uh, was that supposedly the blades create turbulence and that turbulence keeps the grass pushed down doesn't allow it to stand up as much therefore lower speeds lower turbulence uh, the grass will stay standing more upright now I don't necessarily subscribe to that reasoning because it's my understanding that the blades are designed to create lift um, and then therefore I would think that the higher blade speed the more lift you get and the more that the grass would be uh, pulled upright as opposed to the opposite. I would also assume that the engineers that designed the blades or designed the machine designed it to run optimally at the usual 540 PTO speeds. That doesn't mean that what engineers do always makes sense however. That being said, the manual that came with my cutter does state to run it at 540. I can't say definitively however until I run an experiment. So I'm going to run a series of passes uh, with uh, different combinations of PTO speeds and vehicle speeds and take a look at the results. Now just for the record, I know I'm using a rotary cutter here and uh, I'm not expecting a uh, pristine finish like from a finish mower. Uh, but at the same time, I do want the cut to be as good as possible uh, so it doesn't look like complete garbage. For the first test, I'm going to run at full PTO speed, 540, uh, tractor in low gear, and full pedal. I can't really say full throttle, uh, but uh, full vehicle speed, I guess, uh, at this RPM. For test 2, I'm running the same 540 PTO speed, uh, which on this tractor is about 2800 RPM, uh, but this time only giving it about half the pedal or about half the vehicle speed as the first test. For the third test, I lowered the PTO speed, so I have the engine RPM at about 2000 which if my calculations are correct, it should give me a PTO speed of about 385, give or take. Because the engine RPM is lower, leaving the tractor in low gear at full pedal would still be traveling slower than in test one. So I put the tractor in medium gear and tried to give it two thirds, maybe three quarter pedal, trying to match the speed of test one. Even with that though, I was still traveling faster than in test one. Test 4, I left the engine RPM at 2000, again, I'm calculating 385 PTO speed, uh, but giving it maybe a third uh, pedal, maybe a little more, trying to match the speed from test number 2. I had an issue recording test 5 and 6, but for those tests I essentially kept the RPM at 2000, but then put the tractor back into low gear and did a pass at a full pedal and another pass at half pedal. Therefore the ground speed for test 5 and 6 will be about two thirds of the ground speed for test 1 and 2 respectively. So I don't have clips for the actual conducting of test 5 and 6, but I do have the results as well as the results for all the others. Test one looks bad. Uh, I don't have wind rows per se, but just random areas where I've got tufts of grass that are standing up. 
test two is better it looks a lot more consistent i don't see anything that uh, really missed or anything sticking up higher than anything else significantly test three is absolute garbage test four is better but still somewhat inconsistent and i got some random tufts here and there Test 5, uh, it's okay, but not that great either. Test 6 is uh, better than 5, I'd say it's passable. The video doesn't seem to pick up uh, as the detail that I can actually see in person as far as the consistency or lack thereof in the cut. Any of the tests with a uh, higher vehicle speed uh, were the worst, uh, which is pretty much what I expected. Lowering the blade speed, though, seemed to be detrimental to the cut. So the theory of a, a lower uh, blade speed creating less turbulence, thus a better cut, doesn't really stand up, um, at least not with my rotary cutter. And with the low PTO speeds, it could get a passable cut. Uh, cut um, if you're just going really really slow but then of course they're going to take forever to do your field right so the winner is test two that one had the most consistent cut uh, that was full 540 pto speed tractor and low gear about half pedal which is pretty much what i've been doing already although i do uh, vary the vehicle speed depending on the height and the density of the material i'm going through and I'm guessing most of those watching probably do the same as well. If that's the case, then I apologize for wasting your time.